The Injil is extremely clear that Jesus died on the cross. In the various books in the Bible, it says, for example, in the book of Matthew and in the book of Luke, it says Jesus breathed his last. It also says in the book of Matthew that he gave up his spirit. In other words, his spirit left his body. In the, in the tomb, when the woman is talking to the angel, the angel says to him that Jesus has risen from the dead. So clearly he must have died. In the book of Mark, the Roman officer saw how he died in chapter 15. In the book of John, Jesus says it is finished before he gives up his spirit, making it very clear that his life is finished before he gives up his spirit. Also in the various books of the New Testament, we see that the soldiers don't break the legs of Jesus because they noticed he was already dead. Breaking his legs would have assured that he'd die, but he was already dead, so they didn't do that. In addition to these explicit statements from the Gospels, Jesus' death is claimed very explicitly in at least 27 more places in the Injil. Zakir Naik's claim is contradicted repeatedly by the plain words of the Holy Injil. Trying to prove from the Injil that Jesus never died is rather like arguing that the Qur'an denies the existence of heaven and hell.